The book of Hebrews offers profound insights into Jesus Christ. In chapter 9 verses 11 to 12, the author unveils a truth about salvation, Christ as our eternal sacrifice. This passage invites us to grasp the grace through Jesus. It contrasts the Old Covenant's rituals with the New Covenant's reality in Christ. These verses reveal God's redemptive plan in Jesus. Our hope rests on Christ's sacrifice. The author of Hebrews presents Jesus as our High Priest, a role of ultimate significance in the Old Testament, yet Jesus' priesthood transcends any earthly counterpart. He is both priest and sacrifice, offering himself as atonement for our sins. In the Old Testament, the high priest entered the Holy of Holies once a year, not without blood, to make atonement for the people's sins. Jesus, our high priest, entered the heavenly sanctuary once and for all, offering his own blood as the perfect sacrifice. This sacrifice, unlike the blood of bulls and goats, possesses eternal efficacy. It cleanses us from all unrighteousness, bridging the chasm between humanity and God. Through Christ, the true high priest, we are granted direct access to the Father, Jesus' role as High Priest signifies His authority to forgive sins and intercede on our behalf. He is the mediator between God and humanity, reconciling us to the Father through His sacrifice. His priesthood is a testament to God's unwavering love and desire for fellowship with us. Hebrews 9 verse 11 speaks of a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands. This refers not to a physical structure but to the heavenly sanctuary where Christ intercedes for us. This tabernacle represents the very presence of God, a reality far surpassing any earthly temple. The Old Testament tabernacle, with its intricate design and rituals, served as a foreshadowing. It pointed to the true tabernacle in heaven where Christ, our High Priest, ministers on our behalf. This understanding transforms our perspective on worship, shifting our focus from the temporal to the eternal. We can now approach God with confidence, knowing that our worship transcends physical boundaries. Our access to His presence is granted through the blood of Jesus, who has opened the way into the Holy of Holies. This is the essence of the New Covenant. The imagery of the tabernacle emphasizes the reality of Christ's presence among us. We are no longer separated from God but invited into intimate fellowship with Him. Our worship becomes an act of entering into His presence, made possible through the sacrifice of our High Priest. Section 4 the final offering. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 highlights the finality of Christ's sacrifice. He entered once for all into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption. This phrase underscores the definitive nature of his sacrifice. No further offerings are required. The Old Testament sacrifices, though ordained by God, were inherently limited. They had to be repeated year after year, signifying their inability to fully atone for sin. Christ's sacrifice, however, stands in stark contrast his offering was perfect, complete, and eternally sufficient. It satisfied God's righteous demands and secured our redemption once and for all. This truth forms the bedrock of our faith. Because of Christ's finished work, we can live with the assurance that our sins are forgiven. We have been set free from the burden of guilt and shame. The once-for-all nature of His sacrifice guarantees our eternal standing before God. Section 5, An Eternal Redemption the phrase eternal redemption in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 speaks volumes about the magnitude of Christ's sacrifice. It signifies a redemption that is not temporary or fleeting but everlasting in its scope and impact. It is a redemption that extends beyond the confines of this life and into eternity. This eternal redemption speaks to the depth of God's love for us. He did not merely offer a temporary solution to our sin problem, He provided a permanent remedy. Through Christ we are not only forgiven but also made new creations. We are given the gift of eternal life. The eternal nature of our redemption assures us of our future inheritance. We can face death with confidence, knowing that it is not the end but a gateway into the fullness of God's presence. Our hope is firmly rooted in the unshakable promise of eternal redemption. This redemption is not something we earn or deserve. It is a free gift received by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Our responsibility is simply to believe and receive this incredible gift. The rest has been accomplished by Him. Section 6. Gratitude for Grace. Understanding Hebrews 9 verses 11 through 12 evokes deep gratitude. We are recipients of immeasurable grace through His Son's sacrifice. This grace compels us to live lives of worship and service. Our lives should reflect Christ's transformative power. 
extend grace to others, live in obedience and share his love. Christ's sacrifice motivates everything we do, it is the source of our hope, joy and strength.